So how many Stroudley Terriers does it take to make a video? Well, let's see. Here we have number 82, Box Hill, and number 83, Earlswood, in as-delivered Stroudley Improved Engine Green. Box Hill is a Daypole model. The real thing, just like most of its sisters, had a long and interesting history. Starting life as number 82 in August 1880, later 682, named Loco Department Brighton Works, numbered 380S, Loco Works Brighton, converted to a 240 tank in March 1905 for auto train trials, restored back to an 060 tank in 1913, and now is preserved at the National Railway Museum. Earlswood started life in September 1880, later carried the number 683, then number 9 Daphne, sold to the Admiralty in January 1918, spent time in private ownership and then was sold back to the Southern Railway in 1932 as a source of spares. Sadly the loco was scrapped at Eastleigh in April 1949. Originally known as A-Class, these diminutive tank locomotives were designed in 1870 to haul commuter trains on the heavily congested lines in South and South East London. These included routes from London Bridge to both East and West Croydon, London Victoria to Sutton and the line from Victoria to London Bridge via Peckham Rye and Denmark Hill, as well as operating on East London Railway under the Thames through the Thames Tunnel designed by Mark Isambard Brunel. Six locomotives were built for these services during 1872 and were successful due to their high acceleration between closely spaced station stops and the use of lightweight trains. A further 44 were built between June 1874 and September 1880 to complement the original six. Now here is a very well known locomotive, again in original livery. Number 55, Stepney, also carried the numbers 655, B655, 2655 and 3265 under BR ownership. She was built on the 21st of December 1875. Rebuilt to A1X in October 1912 and eventually sold for £750 to the Blue Bell Railway on the 17th of May 1960. She is still there now and was made more famous when the Thomas Tank Engine stories named her Stepney the Blue Bell Engine. But what's this? Are we seeing double? No, I do have two identical locomotives. Both by Daypole, one belongs to my dad. They make a nice pair, don't they? Known to generations of the general public as Terriers, they were known to the railwaymen as Rooters. The former name is the one which has stuck and is thought to have originated from their reputation for outstanding work on the South London Line and in the tunnels of the East London Line. They had a capacity for hard work far in excess of their diminutive size. Designed by the Brighton Company's locomotive engineer William Stroudley, they were introduced as A-Class, later A-1, 
Between 1911 and 1947, nearly half the class was rebuilt, with improved boilers and longer smoke boxes, and was redesignated as A1X. Now we have 662 in London, Brighton and South Coast Railway Umber livery. This livery came next and was applied under the direction of Douglas Earl Marsh, Stroudley's successor as Chief Mechanical Engineer of the LBSCR. With another four so treated after the Great War, these engines formed the A1X class with an increased weight of 28.2 long tonnes. The engines were repainted during this time in Marsh Umber livery. 662 is another Daypole model. She originally carried the name Martello. Now staying with 662, let's look at her in later life in Southern livery dating from around 1938, now carrying the number 2662. This model was a Westwood body kit with scratch built chassis and fitted with a DS10 motor. So to recap, 2662 was originally 62 Martello, built 27th of October 1875, carrying the numbers 62, 662, B662, 2662 and 32662 under BR. She was rebuilt to A1X in 1912 and is now preserved at the Bressingham Steam Museum. So let's now look at a sister locomotive, 2661, originally named Sutton and carrying the numbers 61, 661, B661, 2661 and 32661 under BR. Built on the 27th of October 1875, rebuilt to A1X in January 1912 and scrapped at Eastleigh in September 1963, in fact the very last terrier to be scrapped. Now here comes 2678, originally named Knoll, number 78, also carrying the numbers 678, B678, W4 and W14 Bembridge, 2678 and 32678 under BR, and she was one of the Hailing Island locos. Built on the 23rd of July 1880, acquired by the Terrier Trust for use on the Kent and East Sussex Railway, where she is preserved now. This model was entirely scratch built by my father back in the 50s and is in fact his original model. Now let's step back in time to 1878. Number 40 named Brighton was chosen by William Stroudley to represent the London Brighton and South Coast Railway at the Paris Exhibition of 1878, where she won a gold medal for workmanship. On a run from Dieppe to Paris she maintained a speed of 50 miles per hour which was unheard of back then. Once again you're not seeing double, I have two of these locos in my collection, both made by Hornby. 
and one was originally owned by my dad. Number 40 became W11 Newport when she was moved to the Isle of Wight, then 2640 and finally 32640 under BR ownership. Built on the 10th of March 1878, rebuilt to A1X in August 1918, sold to Butlands and initially displayed at Puthwelly, loaned to the Isle of Wight Society in 1972 and sold to them for £3,500 in 1976. And it just so happens that I can let you see her now, as she was under Isle of Wight ownership. Here is W11, another Hornby model. And happily I can also show you how she looks in BR ownership. So here comes 32640. A number of terriers were fitted for push-pull or motor train working on many lightly used branch line services. They were found ideally suited to this conversion. So now you've seen 12 terriers, but hang on, there's more to come. Here we go then with a very special terrier for me, and I suspect for others, being the famous Fenchurch, as preserved on the Bluebell Railway. However, she is seen here in Southern Green. This model was entirely scratch built for me by my dad back in the 70s, with parts obtained from Tony Collett's music shop in Southsea including the large glued together K's motor. Here is the same locomotive now in Southern Goods Black livery of 1937 vintage, carrying the number 2636 also. This model was made from a 1950s K's kit with a very large K's motor. Considering her age, she runs really well. Once again, the real thing had a varied career. Originally named Fenchurch, number 63, she then carried the numbers 636, B636, 2636, and finally 32636 under BR ownership. Built on the 9th of September 1872, sold to the New Haven Harbour Company in June 1898, acquired by the Southern Railway in 1926, and withdrawn on the 4th of January 1964, and sold for £750 to the Blue Bell Railway. Let's look at another Isle of Wight locomotive. This is W13, Carysbrook, originally numbered 77 and named Wanush, carrying the numbers 677. B677, W3 Carriesbrook and W13 Carriesbrook and finally 3267 under BR ownership. Delivered new on the 21st of July 1880, rebuilt to A1X in 1911 and sadly scrapped at Eastleigh in April 1960. The model is a K's body kit with scrap built chassis and DS10 motor. Thank <laughs> you. 
Here comes 2635, originally named Morden, and carrying the numbers 635, B635, 2635, 377S, Loco Works Brighton, and 377S, Brighton Works, DS377. And, under BR ownership, she carried the number 32635. When she was out shopped as Brighton Works, built on the 1st of June 1878, Rebuilt to A1X in April 1922. In 1963, scrapped at East Lee. This is a day pole model. Here she is as 32635 Brighton Works in BR times. Right, here comes the last terrier, currently in my collection. This is number 3, Bodium, as she appears on the Kent and East Sussex Railway. Originally numbered 70, and named Poplar, new on the 4th of December 1872, and also carried the number 32670 under BR. Sold to the Kent and East Sussex Preservation Society in April 1964, and acquired by the Terrier Trust 1995 for use on the Kent and East Sussex. She looks very well in her blue livery, paired up with these two Bluebell Railway coaches. I really hope you've enjoyed that look at the history of these magical little engines. You've just seen 18 Terriers, answering the question, how many does it take to make a video?